Hello family, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Christina back again for a review. And actually it's not a review. This last night I decided to do my hair and I decided to try box braids. I've never done box braids before. So I figure why not figure out something different or try something different. So I did. So I did box braids as you can see. These are the box braids. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. You know I don't braid very well. That's not my specialty. Braiding's not my specialty. I will do it on myself to the best of my ability. Not my strong suit, okay? You know, I'm staying my lane. But I went ahead and decided to attempt the box braids on myself. So of course, let me give you my cons. This thing took a long time. Okay, it took a long time. It took almost like five, six hours for me to do these box braids. And I feel like they are pretty big. Let me turn around so you can see. I don't think I did too bad for a first timer for my first beginning on it, but it did take some time to try to do this because this is not something I've done before. So I actually decided to go by my beauty supply store. I actually wanted, there was a, a type of hair that I've seen where it's already um, pre-separated, individually small separated, or separated individually in small pieces, so then you can grab as many as needed to actually create the braids. That's the type of hair I wanted. Um, so I decided, I was like, let me go to my local beauty supply store to see if they have it. And so I think the company is um, Mayday, I think that's the name of it, that actually has the pre-stretched hair that actually is separated in smaller pieces because that was my concern. I'm like, how am I gonna know how much to separate? So I was hoping to have that because then I'm like, oh, I can engage, engage the size of the braids and how they would be. Of course, Bee Supply Store didn't have it. They had that brand, but they didn't have it like that. They had it in the already in the set, but it's not separated. So of course I'm looking around I'm like I don't even know how many packs of hair I'm gonna need. So I decided to get a bundle. So the bundle pack I would decide to go on. And this is 30 inch hair, like for real. 30 inch hair. So this is the actual hair. I got model model hair. It is 10x. So there was actually 10 of these, five up here, five down below. This is the hair here. As you can see, it is it's 30 inches. It's long. It is really, really, really long. And I got it in the uh, number two. So it's 30 inches long. I thought it was a good deal. The actual, with having 10 bundles of hair, that it only cost me $17.99. And then when you add in a tax, it was like $19.07. So I really felt like, okay, that's not too bad of a um, price for pre-stretched hair. So I decided to go with this pack. It didn't have like the color and all that kind of stuff. I'm like, okay, this is my first time. Let's go straight neutral or whatnot. So this is the hair I took. So with this particular hair, as you can see, based off my style, I use eight. <laughs> um, so with the separation of what I did, I took one of these bundles, separated in half, and then took that half and separated again. So I was able to make four braids out of uh, one bundle is what I was doing. So you can do the math, okay? Out of eight braids, four bundles, so that shows you I kind of like got 30, I think I had one left. So I think I have like probably 31 braids in my hair. So again, it's thick. Cause honestly, what I wanted, I wanted to do the bun on top. I just wanted, I wanted to be able to pull it up, have it in the uh, box braids and put a bun on top. That's what I wanted. But once I got finished with this, y'all, oh my God. I was like, dang, these braids so big. <laughs> Let me say, dang, these braids so big. So I was like, oh, and my head hurt it a little bit. It, just a little bit. Mm, just a little bit. Hurt just a little bit. I was like, I can't get these braids up there. Man, I was like, this, this is about to be a problem. I cannot get these. <laughs> up here I was like it's too much hair so I was like okay you know what I'm tired I don't got time to play with it on top of that right because my fingers started to hurt y'all 
the phalanges. I'm not a braider. So my fingers started to hurt and I got tired. And I was like, I'm not gonna be able to braid all the way down. So I did put the rubber bands. And initially I was thinking, okay, I will use some mousse and curl the ends and do the hot water. Man, I, it was like, it was like midnight by the time I finished. I was like, I ain't got time to hot water nothing. I'm ready to go night night. Okay, so I didn't do that. So these ends are out. I may decide to go in and braid them the rest of the way down. I don't know. We'll see how I feel with that. Um, but let me talk to you really on how I did the install with this. I did use rubber bands. I didn't rubber band my hair first. I actually parted into the squares. And then I actually took my part and split it in half. So when I split it in half, I took the hair, put it in between, pulled my two pieces of hair together, and then I put the rubber band on. That's the method I chose to use to do this because one, I didn't want I didn't want to crochet the hair through because I was like, this is a lot of hair to try to get through there. I'm like not feeling that idea. So that's the method I decided to use with doing it. So once I had that, then I just started braiding. Okay, so this is, that's how I did it. So it really wasn't Actually, that wasn't bad. That was kind of more easier than I expected to, I must say. Um, but of course, when I got up in the morning, I was like, I can't put this hair up in no bun. I was like, Christina, what you gonna do? Cause I don't feel, I don't want braids all up in my, <laughs> smacking me up in my face. <laughs> in my face, it wasn't feeling that. So I decided to take like the three braids here and do it like a shoelace. I swooped it, pulled it, pulled it back, and then I put a little scrunchie right there. Boom. And then I was like, you know what? Let's throw some hair jewelry in here to give it some bedazzle. So that's what we did. Added a couple pieces of hair jewelry that I already had um, upstairs. And you can get this at your local beauty supply store. You can order it online, whatever. So that's what I decided. Decided to put it there. I was playing around with it. It was just looking funky. So I decided to put it right here in the center whatnot so i don't think it turned out as bad for my initial reaction my initial reaction was like these are really really big i don't think this style really looks good on me kind of not my thing i don't really do long hair but i guess by the next day which is today it's growing on me i think i could deal with it i'm not one who would probably transition this style y'all i'm gonna sleep in this bad boy for real i'm, I'm tied up and go to bed that's it that's it that's it okay but that's it that was <laughs> this was my journey and my first experience with box braids will i do it again i may do it again i won't lie i i might do this again it it's a strong possible you know like space it's a strong possible that i will do it again because but the difference is I probably want either will look for that other hair that I want or that other hair, or I would have to figure out a better way of separating this hair so that the brace won't be as big. But it's cool, you know, it gives you that Janet Jackson poetic justice vibes, you know, with them big dookie braids, that old school look, but it's cool. I may still try the water method down here if I feel like it, but other than that, that was that, y'all. This is, you know, thank you. I hope you enjoyed my comments in regards to this hair. Um, I won't lie, it wasn't real, it wasn't hard to mess with and braid or anything like that. So kudos to the hair. The hair install portion of it really wasn't bad. Just I was just cramping, like just cramping. But other than that. It was cool to try something different. So let me know what you think about this hair. Um, if you've done box braids before, comment down below. If there are suggested videos that I probably should check out for a better experience the next time, let me know. Tag me in it or whatnot. Other than that, you have a blessed day. Don't forget to share the video if you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my video, like my video, and everything like that. All that lovely jazz. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you later on the next one. Bye.